Boy, that's a big seal. Controlling shortly, I'm gonna let him go by before I toss my lines out. Way to start the day in Hawaii Navy. Okay, see what the waves are picking up? That's the shallow reef, right in right in front of it is a sand pocket. We're gonna try to get this into the sand pocket. Accuracy is more important right now. Alright, got it right on the edge. Put this in. Okay. Put my bell up. Whew, there we go. Something just hit this line. Now it's slack. Could still be there. Something's there. Something is definitely there. Small. Yep, small. Eel, maybe. What about the? There he goes. Oh well, it was a fish, but he let go of the bait and he went right back in the water. Ah, all right. Now that I'm looking at the color, I gotta replay it. It, it looked like a towa. It had some uh, orange in it, which is a snapper. It's just before daybreak, just toss my main line out here. This is the new Akuma 14 foot three piece surf rod. All right. So I'm going to use my Coronado bait feeder. It has the, the first drag, primary drag system, which is full power. Second is, is down here. So I'm going to flick the switch, flick the switch. So now if something hits, it's going to run with the bait and I'll just flick it back to get the full power to get a, a better hookup. Look at that, look at that. It's a good run, it's a good run. Still on, got him, still on. Oh man, it's in the reef. It's in the reef. Oh darn, it's in the reef. Oh jeez. It's in the reef. But I'm going to gonna let it stay in the reef. It's gonna have to come out sooner or later. Gonna have to come out sooner or later. Woo! Nice though. The thing was going ding 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 ding, going up and down. Could be anything, could be an eel. When those can be a goldfish. Goldfish like to dig into the reef after the hook. See what happens, guys. All right, guys, I think I'm having puffer problems today. It, finally, my rig went loose, all right? So I just, I didn't even have time to turn the camera. I just quickly brought everything back in. I had something on, and then it came off. 
I got my rig back with no kinks in the line, but look, my other rig had that happen an hour ago. You know how thick that mustad hook is? Something went through it. I mean, literally through it. So I think there's some, I'm having pumper fish problems today. Ah, tell you. You know, I think it's safe to say, after I just got that hit, and boom, nothing. I think it's safe to say, that was a puffer because he bit through that solid metal hook. 